Welcome all you amazing people back to the channel guys, True Fire Gaming here, back with some more Assassin's Creed 2. Let's get straight into it, drop a like on the video if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button, turn on notification bells for all the good stuff guys, comment down below and let's get into the video. Last time we were adventuring and we had to investigate a few people, assassinate people, we were with the uh, archers and that. We're just coming off from there and we are doing a few different things in this one. We are venturing across the rooftops. We're actually looking for a few things around here. We're meant to be looking for the viewpoints but uh, this is usually what I do in between episodes. Is Sometimes I like to just do a small kind of video to get back into touch with you are not allowed up here Eccolo okay why not and so you die hey give me okay I'm just gonna follow you <laughs> okay right back to what I was saying generally I like to just have a little bit of fun. Let's continue this video, guys. Why are you here? Get down. If you are found, you will be shot in the populace. Sounds like he's saying you'll be shot in the penis. <laughs> Fuck me. Pain bullshit. Oh no, you're dead. <laughs> now it's the sad music again. <laughs> it looks pretty good actually. Graphics are really good. Way better than my old TV. You make it look easy, my friend. Don't you just love the music in the Assassin Creed games? It's just so mellow and relaxing. It just gets you in the mood sometimes. You just really want to assassinate someone. Well, there's this thing right next to this memory, so let's go over there and see what we can actually do. I know that we might need to go see Leonardo eventually, but uh, he can wait, he can wait. We have some rooftops to explore. It's all about the rooftops, guys. The rooftops are coming. Strange, there is a light. Basically what that means is you can't go further than that. It means we have to carry on with a memory. Uh, basically we haven't unlocked that area just yet. It's basically saying that you need to do a certain part uh, in the earlier Assassin's Creed, they kind of did this to kind of wall off areas. Uh, I guess they didn't know how to put into the map, like, kind of like, border it off. So they kind of just did this. As you can see, it just says area not available yet. It's kind of like a glitch. It just pushes you out and it will just either kill you or just send you back to where you need to go. Ooh! You die. Yes? Now I raid your corpse. Thank you for the money. 
Well, I probably should have just pickpocketed him. Probably would have given me more, you stingy. Can I get another pouch? Mm. Ooh, no, not poison. I'm not using poison this round. Medicine. Ah, that's alright. I don't need that much medicine. I don't use it. Honestly. We must hide away. Why are you an Eccolo? Why are you Eccolo? Why are you <laughs> Are those your last words? Are you sure? Okay. I'll take your money. I don't understand what you're saying. Should probably do this one. Why I'm here? I see Sini. If you see him. He crawls across the rooftops and kills my men. Oh, I, it's you. Yes, you have complaint. Oh, I, 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 I. Looks like we're going across here. Oh damn, you got some muscles, son. Like an acrobatic. Why? Down! I uh, shoot! Really? That was it? Okay. I will kill all trespass. Damn! I will kill all trust. Damn! He got me! So we're here, oh we're just God. gonna pop into this area now, and we are right here, guys. We're gonna go inside here, and it's kind of showing us where we need to go here. We're going to quickly do this as fast as possible and then we are going to see what we have to do in the next part. Let's see if we can get through here. No. Okay. Sweet. Now I have a way back up in case I fall.
So what happens in these ones, you can get to a certain part and then the ladder will just fall down and then that means you don't have to worry. So around about here, you'll go across this bit and it'll probably just fall down. There we go. So if you do slip or fall, you can get back up. So it's pretty easy once you kind of know the route. It's either along to the side or you have to go round or up. Somehow you can kind of climb up and you can see. Sometimes they are quite close so you have to be careful because you'll just fall back down. So it is doable guys. Sometimes you have to make sure it's the right area as well. So we did it guys, we managed to get here and look what we've got, some treasure. Let's find out what's inside. There we go. We've got the sacred door open and we've got loads of treasure. Let's collect it and carry and move on. Seems like a good treasure here. It was worth tracking all those rooftops to this area to find it. Decent, decent amount of money really. We'll be saving that for later actually for the home because we're going to need more money later on. We're going to be buying some armor at some point. But we do get one of the best armor sets in the game so I'm going to be showing you some of that later. We have actually done several of the uh, seals so we need all six to do it. And to do that, we have to go through several kind of tombs like this. Um, in several of the installments, I've showed you this. And I didn't actually go to the viewpoint. You're a lot allowed up here. I said so. Leave now. How do I get...
So we're going to be moving on now. Uh, there's a few more viewpoints, but I don't think we can do them just yet because this is kind of the era just before we do the Thieves. Uh, we've gone ahead and gone a little bit further in the story at the moment, but uh, here we are. This is kind of like before that. This is kind of what I've been doing and leveling up. And this is what I've kind of been doing, like buying a few things here and there. We've got a sword and we've got a little bit of armor here and there. What I do is I tend to just get uh, the second level of everything and then the fourth or fifth level. That way you can just level up quicker. So every kind of couple of missions we'll wait until we got enough. We'll put into the house and then eventually we'll buy a few things. Like right now I'm going to buy the swords because they're quite decent and they've got quite a lot on it. Here you go. There we go. It's probably the first time I've actually bought a sword in a while since I started the game previous. Generally because I like to upgrade the house first. I think we got a decent one here. Yeah, we got plus five speed. That's really good. See, that was nice. That is a knife. A look at this sexy knife. Yeah, that is going to go into some of the guards. And this blade this is going to just chop people's faces off. Grr. We are ready and stocked for our next mission. Let's continue, ready guys. Now. Let's see what else we, we can get up to. Some nice weapons. But we need armor just yet. We're going to get the best armor in the game. My jumps are getting pretty cool. Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, look who it is! It's Leonardo! If I don't, what will Let's you do? Let's go see what he's up to, because I don't actually know if he's a mission or he's just standing there. I know we have to continue some point, so pretty sure he's gonna tell us what to do. Let's speak to him now. Messer Da Vinci. Yes. Buongiorno e ben arrivato. I am Elvise. Signor Don has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? Come, I will show you her wonders. Our first stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto. All this church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? And her clock tower, magnifico. Come, come, there's more to see. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets, be it spices or silk, from near and far. There is, there is. You were told to stay home, but the rent is paid. I have every right to sell here. Emilio disagrees. No, no, stop! Look, isn't it amazing? Would you mind buying it for me? I have, uh, I left my money with my bags. Hey, on your step, Corleone. And 
here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but... with the way things are now... Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. But Giannate, if you ask me. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the Council. Good luck with that, my friend. What are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop! present to you your workshop, Ser Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success, and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. And gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Di nulla. Alright guys, I've enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Drop a like, leave a comment down below, you know how it is. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.